some glitter to my makeup I didn't know where but I decided to do just like half of the like inner corner or half of the eye I don't know how to explain that very well but I decided to do this look I think um, it's more like inspired for the holidays I guess um, it's really fun to do you can pair it with any color of lipstick that you want I decided to go with this pink color just because I usually don't use like bright pinks on myself I always tend to go to the neutral side so I decided to do something different but you can pair with a dark shade a lighter shade a pink shade whichever color that you really want to use that day you could just pair with this eye makeup because it goes with everything so that's the fun part of it so if you want to know how I created this look just keep on watching Starting off, I'll be using Emberlease to moisturize my face. Moving on, I'll be using NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer. And I'll be using the Morphe 350 Matte Palette on this tutorial and mixing other, other colors as well. They don't have no names, so I'll be showing you guys each eyeshadow and each color that I use on my eyes. Now I'll be using glitter glue from Too Faced all over like the inner corner and up to like half of my eye. And I'll be using the NYX pigment. I don't know the name of it, but I'll link it down below. Now I'll be using Maybelline Black Gel Eyeliner. That's the best by far. I love it. And it is so inexpensive. Creating that winged eyeliner. Once I'm done, um, I'm using my favorite mascara, the Real Lash Mascara from Benefit. It's the best, seriously. And I'm using my favorite eyelashes from Rodell, the Studio Wispies. Now I'll be mixing a couple of foundations. First I'll be using the Smashbox Studio Skin. I mixed it with a little bit of MAC Studio Face and Body. And now I'll be using from Makeup Designery. I'm using foundations because they're really like they're kind of heavy on the skin, but they cover all like my spots and dark um, circles that I have on my face. Now I'm using my favorite concealer, the NYX HD. Blending everything out with a beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm using the Tem 2. This is for the airbrush. I don't have the machine, but it came in the boxy charm, and I was really interested in using it. So I decided to use it on this tutorial. It's very easy, and it blends super good with a beauty blender, as you can see. I just did it as a base before applying my bronzer. Now I'm setting my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. What's new, right? <laughs> Brushing away any excess powder. Now I'm using Hula Life Benefit. Now I'm using the Morphe 9N palette. I guess you guys are gonna be sick <laughs> because I keep using it, but it's so pretty. I'm using that glow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills to highlight. Now I'm using this NYX white eyeliner on my waterline just to make my eyes look bigger. Now I'm using this color, I believe it's called Antiqued by MAC. And 
and I'm blending it with the Makeup Forever M650. I love this shade to blend and to use it as a crease color. And I'm using the Royal Lash Mascara as well. And now for an inner corner highlight, I'm using Nylon by MAC. I love how it looks. And for my lips, I'm using ColourPop in the color November. Such a pretty shade. I love it. It's outside my comfort zone, but it looks so pretty. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I launched, there's like an icon with my face. You can click on it to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I left all my social medias down below as usual. There's another icon, I think over here or over here with my previous video. You can just go ahead and click on it to watch my previous video that I posted. Thank you so much for coming back and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye.